Well, I think Plymouth um, seems to be a town with a lot of opportunity and we spent a lot of time talking to lots of people here before we opened the business. Everyone's been really helpful, very exciting. There seems to be a great feeling of what Plymouth is going to be and we're excited about being on that journey with everyone down here in Plymouth. And we fell in love really, first of all, with the area. We felt that Plymouth offered a good kind of mixture of, of all things, so fantastic environment but great city to live nearby. It's a fantastic centre which is truly international in its flavour. It brings a tremendous sense uh, of identity to the whole of the peninsula of the South West. Absolutely love Plymouth, vibrant, young city, so much happening, so much going on. We moved back from the Caribbean, my wife and I, with our children 15 years ago. Plymouth was a totally different place. But in the last 15 years, talking about a complete change. It's just a very interesting city with lots of challenges, lots of very good things about it, but also some areas which, which need to be improved. It's nice to be in an environment where you know your day-to-day -day job can actually make a difference to the future of the city. OK, although we're a little bit remote, once we manage to attract people here to the city, they come to appreciate that the city is a great place to live and to also be able to work and bring up a family, we have good education, good schools and also we have a very good developing further education system as well. Be given the opportunity to come and head up the National Marine Aquarium was fantastic. Plymouth's got a huge amount of potential. It's a centre of excellence for marine sciences. I think there's a lots of different things going on and I think there's um, always an opportunity to get more people together, try and get things done. I'd like to see Plymouth become really confident about itself. I think it's really, really important that the council do concentrate on Plymouth Airport. To be taken seriously as an economic centre, we need a local airport. The biggest and most important thing is sorting this issue of connectivity. We need to get improvements to the rail service happening through the uh, renewal of the Great Western franchise, better digital connectivity in for the city through the Digital Plymouth project. The recent loss of the airport has obviously come as a blow, so better communication links would definitely be of great benefit. We develop visitor plan which will help us promote the city and really develop its tourism potential. This is a sort of personal request really. I'm very excited about Plymouth. Somebody told me before I came here that Plymouth had the opportunity to be like Sydney Harbour. There's a fantastic opportunity for the waterfront of Plymouth all around and all the businesses to join up. So I hope there's a lot more investment and a lot more development on the waterfront. Connectivity is definitely the name of the game. And I think as a business the opportunity is there to sort of move alongside that vision and just be part of everything. City of Plymouth has reinvented itself quite dramatically over the last 20 years. Probably most recently the last five years has seen a complete change in the way in which Plymouth has done its business. Although it's early days it's been very exciting and we're very excited about the future of what we're going to develop here. And develop its own brand, promote itself more and be proud of what it does. I thrive on variety. There's so many different things that, that need to be done here. It's nice to be able to move from one issue to another. As long as we do move forward and we do attract more people then we will be doing well.